That mama with her fawn. That's awesome. Got any more? Just the one, huh? That was cool. There's a day three highlight already. Welcome to Off Road Gospel. As you see, it's a little darker. It's about 8 a.m. and raining. I think we're gonna do a little riding. I'm already packed up because uh, I have to head back today, like I mentioned. So we're gonna do some sort of ride today. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of taking a drive and uh, staying dry. So that's kind of the key right now. But I want to thank you for tuning in. And also, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave your comments. We would love to hear from you. And if yeah, feel free to always recommend if there's friends that you think might like this. But uh, we're gonna get into the adventure, and also if you're able to hang around for the end for the devotion. All right, let's go. It's these views that make it worth. Some of this stuff. It's beautiful. That's Lake Huron, if I'm not mistaken. Shrink down a little bit up there and St. Mary's River, which then will go into the Lake Superior. And Sault Ste. Marie. This was our assigned group uh, for the ride. Some great rigs, a lot of Toyotas, but a uh, great group of people. And a great big thank you to Geo for the drone shot on this. Definitely appreciate that and some of the extra footage that he helped me with and others as well throughout this weekend. Okay. 
This area is part of the Marblehead South Route. Uh, the, we're going to be getting into the out and back for Shale Beach, which is the only way you can access that is through the Marblehead South. That The whole thing with that is that it's a moderate trail to Shale Beach, but it's considered a hard trail uh, on Marblehead South, which is actually part of a Jeep Badge of Honor trail as well. It's rated 7 out of 10, so it's definitely the most extreme trail that I've ever done. Beach.
right. We have Shale Beach. It doesn't seem like it until they're side by side, but the difference is in width and overall size between a mid-size and a full-size really stands out as we go through this little video of the rigs. the hole we went straight through. Yeah, yeah, my bad, sorry, Jeff. Copy. So I like easy. Or one of the least amount of players. Not bad. Oh crap. I may have chosen the wrong one, Gio. Yeah, alright, Zach just barely touched his weird death. Other than that, he's been pretty clear. We are on the marked trail. I see a tag. Section I just got to got pretty fun. Yeah, Jeff, this appears to be the little route that we took on Thursday. Because I, I mapped it, so. Okay, cool. And yeah, we're pretty much almost to the spot where we left you on uh, Thursday. Yeah, like if you see what I'm looking at though, you would want to kind of be apprehensive about it too. When in doubt, throttle out. Well, oh, I thought it was always when in doubt, chicken out. Good to know that. The other thing is wide open till you see God, then you shift. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the chicken out one. Ooh! What I hit there? I don't know if it's just 
Me talking, but I really don't care what that itinerary says. Let's just have some fun, man. No, I agree, but I do, I want to get us to plywood camp and stuff, so I want to make sure I'm doing that. Yeah, Jeff, the, the, that place that we just bottomed out, that, I'm 100% sure that was the rock that we all hit on Thursday. Yeah, I think you're right. Clean the tires. Sorry, I got out of four low. Chris, you okay back there? Yeah, I just had to check into the South Marblehead Loop for my Jeep badge of honor. How bad is that trail compared to what we've done so far? Comparable until like one second. Like one part of it is, is, is kind of gnarly. The south route to Marblehead is only about seven miles, but it uh, takes considerably longer to make that uh, trail and to get through it. And I know we were probably several hours Nobody on that part of the trail by itself. Too. It is a slow moving process. You're doing a couple miles an hour through the whole thing. for that one. Yeah, so this is plywood camp. Plywood camp. Cool little cottage tucked away out here. Judging by your not 
liking rocks, Eric. I don't know if this would be a trail you'd want to do. Right now, I'm not sure if I want to be doing it, but we are in and there is no way out, so we continue. We proceed and have lots of fun. Poor dog's getting beat up. She go sleep. Good. Watch out for the rock sticking up in the center. Thank you. Okay, so I would maybe take the left line or the uh, the right. Right's got some big rocks hiding through it. That water is pretty deep. Thank you. What do you think, Gio? What, uh, what should we do? I was going to take the left side, how you suggested it comes might be less rocks. So you're going to, I'll, I'll have to back up to hit it then, so go ahead of me. Because this center one is the one he dragged in. Which one did you say to take, the right side or the left side? I thought you said the right side was the bigger rocks. Your uh, far left out of the water, but it, I mean, you're going to come up to something where you're going to have no choice. I mean, you guys might be able to go around to the, to the right where Zach's at. Uh, that looks pretty tight. Zach, if Zach can fit, anyone can fit, so. Alright, I'll do what Zach did. You want to follow that way, Jeff? I'll go through. Hey, Jeff, you're a little bit taller than me, so. I dragged the whole way through that. You getting that big girl through there? Oh yeah. What about this one? Oh, we just had to me on all the nice stuff. I'm cool with that. Fuck all the zags away. There's some big rocks in there. Copy. Just the pass that you uh, scraped. The first one is scraped. The second one, I I think I hit a skid or something going through it. Maybe my slider, I don't know. I hit something. The big rock to the right, Gio. How's it going, Chris? Fine, man, I have to use that. I hung up on a big root there.
Whoever has to get winched is going to get eaten. Right. Joe, I'm guessing this is that gnarly section you were talking about. What do newbies do? Where's your air intake? Is it passenger or driver? Passenger? I ride a passenger like I did. Keep, keep as far passenger as you can. Copy. Copy. It is going to be deep, like it drops in. Slow and steady, don't be pushing here too much. Nice and easy, let it work through a four low and in three to five miles an hour. <sighs> Can somebody try and film Geo? I he, he's gonna be blocked from my sight line. You're good, guy.
More water. Watch my line, Geo. There's some big rocks right there. I don't think Joe wanted us to go on this trail, uh, but here we are. Not here. No, I don't care about that. I just mean like he maybe was thinking smart because uh, this is supposed to be a medium group and this is one of the hardcore trails, but I'm having fun, I guess. So who's a hardcore group? Guys, we really in the full size truck. Not like the Joe's group, like the Broncos and stuff, and then. Um, Kyle Pollard was supposed to leave one, but he didn't show up, so I'm not sure, I, I'm sure one of the Indiana boys just took over, um, and then Craig, Craig threw up too. Well, as long as we make it out, Geo, we're hanging with the big boys today. The rest of this was just basically a dirt road, so we headed back to camp, had some lunch, and that's where I set out to head home after that. I'm gonna be heading to catch the car ferry. And no, that is not some magical thing that fixes your car or it gives you free upgrades or new gear. It is the only way off this island. So, heading there, these roads that were nice and smooth dirt roads leading in with all this rain have turned into washboards. So, slow and steady the race I guess but thank you for joining thank you for being a part of this if you made it this far please throw some comments uh, if you haven't already subscribe and get like on the video um, and just so appreciate anybody who takes the time to join me on this stuff and uh, if you have a few extra minutes, 
good, stick around for the devotion. Try to make sure there's always something encouraging from God's Word. So, God bless. Be safe. We'll see you real soon out on the trips. Job chapter 14, verse 7 from the NLT version. Even a tree has more hope. If it is cut down, it will sprout again and grow new branches. Though its roots have grown old in the earth and its stump decays, at the scent of water it will bud and sprout again like a new seedling. Job is trying to plead his case that he has no more hope. But if we go to the end, there was restoration and Job was twice as blessed than when he began to go through all of the difficulties he went through. What we need to realize is there is hope in our situation. Even though it seems all is lost, that there is none, there is a point in time where it turns around. And so be encouraged today that while things don't look great maybe there is a day where it will change it will turn around whether here or in heaven above one day it will change so if you're going through a tough time hang in there if you're riding the wave and things are going well give thanks for that today but if you hit some bumps in the road just remember it's not over and even though things might get difficult there is still hope be blessed let the Lord give you peace and strength in the name of Jesus Christ God bless and see you real soon out on the trails.